<clears throat> Hi. Whew, it is cold where I am right now. Uh, IRL, of course. Um, I just went outside in the 28 degree Fahrenheit weather uh, in my pajamas because I found out that my new headphones arrived, so I am now using those, uh, and I am cold as ice. So, if I remember correctly, last time I was... This is mysterious. I had jumped down here to this place outside the outskirts. Where exactly am I? Oh, interesting. This little area outside the outskirts. Well, this is not the direction I wanted to go. I wanted to go this way to check out the outer moat is presumably what that is. Um, to try and find uh, good old what's his name. But since I'm here, oh boy, I guess I'll try and get this bear to attack me at the right angle. Can a bear break one of these? I feel like the answer to that is no. That was close. Okay, it's... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so who do I have to anger? Wow. You go down fast. Is there any point in this game where eventually I can just do that? Maybe, I guess, if I was, like, a strong, strengthy type build. Huh. I really don't see anything around here that's going to help me with that. The game just auto-saved. Does that mean anything? I don't usually notice it doing that. So it stood out, but it probably does that a lot. Oh. Oh, snow. Snow. I'm getting so close, I feel like, even though I'm seeing it from distance. Oh, is that like a proper rune bear? Because that'll do it. Yeah, that does look a little bigger. Wait, does that look bigger? Oh, yeah, that's bigger. There we go. You're the guy I want. Fucking shit! God damn it! Stake of America. Ridiculous. Stake of America for a room bear to pop open a statue, and it's gonna be like, what's what's usually in there? It's usually nothing I care about. I don't know what. really where I was at all. Where is this? Have I been here? I don't remember being here. I don't even feel like this is somewhere I was close to. It's a pretty far away thing. Are you kidding? Oh, fuck. What? Wait, why did I jump off my horse? Why the hell did I jump off my horse? 
when when did there become two of you? Do you multiply every time I kill one? Thank you, sir. That is all I needed you for. Summer Smithing Stone 6. Who gives a shit? Oh my god. This could be the outer moat. I don't know. I'm just gonna pop over here for a bit in hopes that the uh, rune bear will de aggro. And maybe I'll encounter the guy I'm looking for, too. Or maybe I'll get attacked by a giant crab. That's also possible. Yep. There you go. Uh, that guy looks significant. Okay, while I'm at it, can I get the... this fly? Well, you certainly don't look like the dung eater. Just a guy who likes crabs. What are you looking at? Oh, you sound like him. You again, is he? Perfect bloody timing, actually. I got crab cooked up fresh. Wait. Blackguard. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the guy who was had the prawns. You should probably know what? That Raya was a snake? Hey, there's something I should probably oh, tell you. Oh, he has something to tell me. You heard of the dung eater? Uh -huh. He's a madman. Has it out for everyone. Curses him. Goes round in his rank armor and all. You see him though. Stay well away. I was in the same jail as him once, so I know first hand. He's a god forsaken monster. Not just some petty thug like me. He's a killer. Kills people. And curses the souls. Does all sorts of shit to the corpses to keep them cursed forever. I ain't seen nothing more disgusting in all my years. I ever been more scared neither. Rooted to the bloody spot while he did that to my friend. Yeah. Then I was seen here again. Never thought I would. What he does to those bodies. It was. It was him. No question. That monster. He's lurking around there. Eh? Yeah, well. Pulled crab meat, a prime specimen of plump and moist meat. True connoisseurs know how to keep them from oversalting. Greatly boosts physical damage negation for a certain duration. Unlike the prawn sold, this truly is crab. Not that it matters, it's delicious all the same. It's not prawn. Interesting. That meat actually looks to have come from a crayfish. Not that it matters. <laughs> Never met someone with a taste for crab I couldn't trust. You've got a real thing here, eh? And it's only getting better. Yeah, so I let out the dung eater. I'm really really on edge about whether that was the right idea. Um, like, I feel like if I didn't, though, it would have just been like nothing more happens. And if I did, it's like something horrible happens, but, you know, the game continues and changes. I'm probably not going to ruin anything, except for, I guess, maybe it's implied I might lose the capability to rebirth um, if I end up getting cursed by him. He says I'm next, so he wants to kill me, but if he tries, I, I mean, usually when people try and kill me, I just respawn, right? 
So does this imply that that wouldn't be the case with this guy? That I wouldn't just respawn like normal? Okay, this is the whole thing. Dung Eater can hang out a little longer, I think. I'm not into being, like, things being done to me non-consensually, speaking as Derby. I'm not being into things being done to me non-consensually, and I'm not into being killed. Oriza. Hmm. That's cool. I have a friend who, well, I guess they used to go by that name. Um... But, uh, but Derby is into some pretty nasty shit. Like, the story I'm kind of telling myself... Oh, great, this looks like... Wheelchair of Death, Chariot of Death territory. The story I'm telling myself, based on, like, the prisoner class, suggests that... Oh, boy. Skellies that drop items. I guess it's not too unusual. Okay, I think it's better if I go while it's up. Oh fuck, there's two of them. Okay, looks like I can drop down. Um, the prisoner says is said to have once uh, has knows the glintstone sorceries because they once studied with uh, uh, rub shoulders or something with the elite. If if you learn if it's an elite, you learn glintstone sorceries from. Presumably, they were in the elite are Carian Carian royalty. So my headcanon is that Derby was somehow part of the Carian court before becoming a prisoner. Now, presumably, her memory was somewhat wiped. Uh, because she has to reorient herself with the whole world. But um, I think she remembers certain things, and I think one of the things that she remembers, or at least comes back to her quite quickly, is that um, she was a follower of some kind of... Um, of Selen's. Like, presumably, as as somebody who was related to the Kadians in some way, she, um... Okay, I am safe here. This is a very interesting predicament to be in. That doesn't look like anywhere I can get to, so I'm gonna just drop. Nobody to get me, huh? Oh, fuck, there they are. hectic with all the noise. So yeah, I think she was like into the whole Glimstone sorcery stuff, or not Glimstone sorcery stuff, uh, Primeval Current stuff. Uh, was kind of involved in Selen's whole deal after joining the Academy. So was a student of the Academy, probably did quite well, probably had her way in paid by the Caudian royalty that she rubbed shoulders with. Um, and then because of the primeval current thing was imprisoned. Um, that's generally my backstory. But I also think, in my mind, her nickname now that she's earned is, uh, 
kind of think of her as Derby the... Like, I kind of like to do this with my um, FromSoft characters. Is, um... Like, give them a secondary name. A title of sorts. And I, f I feel like right now, Derby's, even though she's not wearing the red at the moment, is uh, Derby the Red Rat. That's kind of what I want to call her. Um... Jesus Christ! Really? How did that... Oh, that's dumb. There's far too many of you guys in here. Um, and I think that that comes from her being sort of a... You know, she's, she's a nasty person, Derby is. She does not like to play fair. She likes to fight dishonorably. Um, and she likes to... Um, she finds pleasure in wallowing in somewhat seedy, disreputable things, hence her love of blood. Um, she's a creep, you know? Um, her interest in blood is definitely one of... Did you hear that? Briefly heard a basilisk croak. Um, I'm gonna check this real quick, actually, because it's probably more like a dead end, now that I think about it. Oh, there's definitely... There's definitely some basilisks in there. All right, let me target the enemy right in front of me. Her just in the blood, she's not really all that fussed about Mogwin or Moog or any of that stuff. Golden Epitaph. A sword made to commemorate the death of Godwin the Golden, first of the demigods to die, infused with the humble prayer of a young boy, O brother, Lord, brother, please die a true death. Last rites. Raise the epitaph to grant the effect of sacred order to yourself and allies in the vicinity, particularly effective at laying to rest those who live in death. Well, it's a, it's a pretty sick sword, but um, why can't I hold it faith, I presume? not the biggest sword person anyways, but yeah. Faith. I don't need much, though. Um, but yeah, she's not so fussed about... She's not somebody with a lot of loyalties, you know? Except for to sell him. And her loyalty to Selen comes from Selen's delightful uh, contempt and interest in the debauchery of the Cadian ways on which Derby was raised and which she resents. Um, and, of course, Derby's interest in the... It's honestly just the subversiveness of the primeval current, but also the, like, sort of wicked quality of, you know, folks going mad. Um, wow, that's so mean. I can't even see what I'm supposed to do there. Well, that's not gonna help. Okay. 
okay, they're kind of together. Sometimes, sometimes super not. Oh my god, thank goodness, thank goodness this was here. Oh, fuck. Okay, I cannot safely do that. Fuck! I was trying to dodge out of the way, I swear. This is brutal. So, in other words, um, her interest in the Moog Dynasty is not out of any sort of, or Mogwin Dynasty is not a sort of, sort of glorious interest. She's not interested in power. Um, she's not interested in honor. She's not interested in legacy. Um, in fact, she's interested particularly in destroying that in many cases. Um, she's simply interested in blood because it feels foul and desecrated. And she's simply into the primeval sorcery because it is uh, corrupting and inhuman. Um, and so I actually think in a lot of ways it sounds like she's particularly well aligned with the um, Dung Eater's whole deal. Come on. Oh my fucking god, it's coming. I think I did it when he went down before. I'm pretty uncomfortable with the amount of runes I have and the lack of plan. Honestly, I think it's this is going to give me the most chance. Good lord! Good lord, that was so close. Oh, they changed fucking direction. Of course they did. Oh, that's so fucking mean. But they don't care about me going up there anymore? Probably they do. I don't know where I'm going. Good lord, stop crouching. Oh, now that I went even a little bit up, they went up too. So that means they would chase me. Wait, did they go all the way up now? No, of course they don't. So they do want to chase me. I can't see anywhere worth going that they're not going to 
get me. Because I can't, I have to follow them. Oh, what? They have a pattern. I went to the wrong side. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Fuck! There's a fucking another one. <sighs> get some... Okay, I have to jump down there. But there's more stuff up there. Good lord, this place is insane. Well, goodbye to my runes. I mean, I should just say goodbye to my runes. Like, it's not guaranteed, but fucking... I should just not care. Well, this is not what I signed up for. And, like, all I'm heading towards is a boss. Why am I doing this? I'm gonna look for status sleep. I need to read about that again. I'm so curious about it. I've never encountered it. No one's ever used it against me. I've never used it against anyone else. What's the deal? Feels bad, man. So how did I accomplish this before? I wait till they're down there, and then I pop out, and that triggers them to go all the way up? Or they just go up all the way sometimes? They don't seem to be going up all the way sometimes. Wait, where's that? I can drop down here? From what? Okay, that made that one go all the way up. So I should go down now. Fuck my life. How am I supposed to control that? I'm supposed to be more careful. Oh, but it doesn't give me very much time. Oh my god, this sucks. This sucks. Well, I'll admit I panicked, but like, it, there was a giant thing. I don't even know how close it is because it disappears. It only appears once you get close to it. I didn't even see where it appears. I don't know how close it's going to be, but I don't. I know it's not going to give me much time. Got to make quick decisions around here. And now I got to pick up my runes too. Actually, actually, that's not true. I don't have to pick up my runes. I can say fuck my runes because it, that's just five crow kills. Who gives a damn? Also, can I just fucking run past everything, please? Oh God, there's got to be a better way to do this.
Come on. Come on. I'll kill you because it's easy. Now do I have to wait for these guys to sync up or what? Jesus! Die. Okay. I need to get just at least one of them to go all the way up. Oh, I did get one of them to go all the way up. I'm going all the way up now? No, it's not. Not anymore. Does that trick them to go all the way up? This is so stupid. Please let that make the other one go all the way up. No? Okay. start running up. Surely that'll do it. No? Okay. What do I gotta do, man? They're just stopping there. Before, one of them went all the way up. I don't want to have to zigzag between them. Oh my god, why? This got so much worse. If I went out there... No, that's not safe. That's not safe. No, they don't trade fast enough. I need to wait for one of them to go all the way up. Oh my god. How do I trigger you? Okay, that's what I wanted. Oh, this isn't good, though. Okay, that's okay. Oh, fuck you! See, you have to go so fast! That's insane! After all that... Okay, what did I do to get it... I had to go to the middle and stand there for a little bit? Oh, my God. That took so long. And I, like, did the shorter run back and everything. But, but, like, what was I gonna... I don't understand the mechanism by which these... I... I, you know... I think sometimes when people get angry in video games, people laugh and say, like, just because, like... Like, you just think it's bad because you can't handle it because you're not good. But... I kind of think that there's a difference between hard and dumb, and uh, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's been really difficult in this game, and I've put up with it graciously. Um, but like, you know, like the horse mechanics are not one of those things. I think that's bad. Whereas other things that are hard are just like... Please, come, 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 come up. Oh my god, please stop. Fuck off. What the hell was that? Why didn't it come? Oh, please, no. Jesus Christ. I'm... No, they're all dead now, right? There's no way they're coming back. I don't need to heal that.
Okay, they're both up. I need this one to go down. Preferably while this one's up. Or I wait for them both to go up at the same time. I can handle that. Wow, you came far down. I hate you. I hate you. Finally, I fucking lose my shit. I, anyways, point being, I think the chariots, these murder chariots, are bad game design. I think they were a bad idea. They're not. They, they act like some sort of puzzle, but, um, but again, they don't feel like a puzzle. Um, they just feel stupid. Uh, there's no, you know, like, okay, I watch a lot of people play Mario Maker, and, like, the difference between a bad, like, Kaizo level and a good Kaizo level in Mario Maker is not whether or not people die a lot. People aren't gonna, like, die a lot to a Kaizo level and say that this Kaizo level sucks. Very frequently, in fact, high-level Kaizo players die tons and tons of time and are like, this is ex uh, finally a good level, you know? Because they're bored by levels that aren't that hard. Um, when they complain about it is when there's not good indicators. That's like it, when you're playing a Kaizo Mario Maker level, that's like what people get pissed off about. It's like... Like when we were supposed to Z here and you didn't put a Z. Or when you, like, you know, put the... God damn it, let me fucking... Target the thing that's attacking me. Yeah, get fucked. When it's like you have to throw a shell, but the indicator for the shell is in a janky spot, you know? Like, and this is what I feel like is going on here. Is like, they're kind of like setting up a puzzle for me, but they're not giving me any indicators. Like, there's something that makes these guys change their behavior, but there's no indicator as to what that is, you know? And it ends up wasting a ton of my time. Fuck you and the mother you rode in on. That's what you deserve. Okay, where are we at with this? Okay, they're both down. At the same time. They're stopping here. They're both stopping here. I need to go here and run up a little bit. Is that what they don't like? No. Okay, that's not what they didn't like. I think when I hear that sound, that does something. No. No. What the hell is it then? What's making that sound? And why don't they like it? Okay, they... No, it's still not a thing. Oh, that did it. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Fuck you! That is so stupid. That is so stupid. This is getting so dumb. It's not how I was thinking I was going to spend my evening, and it's totally my fault that I'm still doing this, but I just have a brain that doesn't really like to start doing something and then stop in the middle. That is just a problem that I have with my brain, and it is not very compatible with this particular type of gameplay. If it were a skill issue, I'd be more interested. 
If these were enemies I was fighting and they were just a challenge, if this were a boss, you've seen me battle bosses over and over and over again. How is this any different? I have no input. I have no input. I have no sense of control. I do not like this. Okay, I am going to equip this just in fucking case. Uh, it helps, but I don't know that it will. I'm so glad I lost my 60,000 runes, though, because it is much less stressful to be um, not worrying about trying to pick up my runes on top of everything else. Wait for that guy to be slightly out of my way, and that guy to be going up. That guy's going up. Second guy is slightly out of my way, this is my moment. Screw you. For them to get kind of more synced up. Okay, they're really not very synced up at all. Uh, at all. Okay, that's what I want. Oh my god, and this is the one that I land where I wanted to. But that wasn't because I saw the little indicator of where I needed to land. Oh fuck. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's several ways I could do this. I could drop to there and go to there. I could also drop down and go to there. Uh, that one's got a skelly. Uh, I don't know what this one has. This one's uh, higher, so I should go to it first. No one else? It's kind of frustrating that I can't go like fully up above my character with the camera. Why didn't you die? Okay. have a moment to look at the statue, please? Okay, the statues in this game are hella boring. I miss Bloodborne's freaky nose man statues. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. You see how fast I dodged? That's because I expected you! I got bleed. Why didn't I, um, glow red? Nobody's waiting on here. What was that? Aha.
These ones are like one hit point stronger than the other ones, I guess. I didn't even see what that item was. Hopefully it wasn't interesting. Okay, this is kind of nerve-wracking. It sounds like I'm going up directly into the underneath of the wheels of these motherfuckers. Yeah, I really don't like the sound of this at all. Let's try not to get exactly to the top of this ladder. Okay, there's a ceiling. Oh, this is, um... I, well, I thought I knew where this was. Oh no, yeah, okay. What good could that possibly do me? What good could that possibly do me? Why would- oh, fuck. I didn't remember how tall that ladder was. Well, I feel like a real idiot now. Wow, I feel like a real idiot now. For some reason I thought I could just drop back down there. Why was I thinking that? Although honestly, don't I have the cat medallion? That doesn't protect? What the, what the hell is the cat medallion good for? Does it just do the exact same thing as uh, cotton? Because I thought it was, I thought it was like, I, I kind of assumed it was more protection than cotton. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nope. Maybe later. That is... I'm not doing two episodes of that. Uh, I'll see you at the top, y'all, next episode. Bye for now.